Come and catch the vibe. Yeah. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me. What's up? So sit down. It's your guy, Amiz. We back at it again. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff because the algorithms need the algorithm. We got Red McFly in the building today. What's up, my guy? What's going on? What's going on? Feel good to be here. What brings you to the sit down this afternoon? You know, we're going on a run right now promoting this project I've got about to drop called Life is Crazy 2. <laughs> okay, life is definitely crazy, but why is your life crazy? Man, I... It, when, uh, rather, what's crazy about your life? We could, we could go anywhere. We could go from past experiences, you know, coming up to uh, to to the good parts. You know what I mean? We could we could touch any angle. But, you know, any, I guess if you ask any person... They'll tell you that their life is crazy. Yes. So it's something that's very relatable because a lot of artists they always try to paint the picture that everything is peachy, everything we we shine in, we in the club. But out in my projects, when I'm talking, I let you know like the dark parts, the bright part. You know what I mean? I, I go ahead with the women, go ahead with the money, go ahead when I didn't have the money. I talk about everything, and that's that's everything that make it crazy for okay. real. All right, my life crazy too. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what's crazy about my life, and I want you to tell me something that's crazy about your life. We're gonna, we're gonna see who's cra whose life is a little more crazy. All right, cool. All right, we can do that. All right, in the past week, I've <laughs> lost my washing machine, my dryer. I bought the wrong dryer. Had to put the wrong connection for the washing dryer. All in my in a week, I had no clothes. I couldn't. Wash. I had to go to the fucking laundromat. I haven't been to the laundromat since I was in college. Mm. To to wash my whole family's laundry, <laughs> son. I spent almost twenty dollars out at the laundry man. How? So that's got, my life is crazy. That's an example. Of life beat, is crazy. beat that. <laughs> beat that. I don't know if I could beat that for the last week. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I had I had a lot of crazy things going that's similar to that. You know what I mean? Like I, for example, recently I had something happen where I got hit by in the car. Somebody was driving, running from the cops, hit me at the light. Then when I come home, I get pulled over by the cops for a speeding and the rental that I just got because I got in the accident. Okay, you got me beat, God. All right. <laughs> life is a little bit more crazy than mine. Your life is a little bit more crazy than mine. Right, I got you. I just want to see how, how crazy you was talking. Oh, no, it get crazy, yeah. I'm a, we, we work on a movie for it and everything. What's the name of the movie? Life is Crazy? Yes, we're going to have to be. <laughs> All right, so talk to me about the music. You see, you got a project you're working on. What, what's the project's name and, and how far are we pushing on? How many songs? What's up? Yeah, this is, um, I did the first one, Life is Crazy. This part two, we about to drop October 20th. Mm -hmm. um, 12 tracks on there Every single one I, The way I approach an album like I want every single one to have a visual to it So that like When you hear the record You could you could already picture something in your head That's a little expensive, no? It get a little expensive <laughs> But you know, that's that's what we here for Got you And um, I got a lot of good production on there The, the crazy thing about that My producer, my main producer His name is M-Easy too Look at that Look you spell that. it different though. Okay, I mean, I, I spell mine different on purpose because there's a lot of Emizis out here. Oh, okay, okay. Salute to you though, sir. Yeah, no disrespect. And he changed he changes the M E Z to P R O D because he's a producer. Gotcha. But um, yeah, you know, we I've been working on this project all over the country. Went down to Atlanta, did some records, did a couple records um up in Rhode Island, Connecticut, Buffalo, and right here in the city, Jersey. Then it got mixed and mastered in Thailand. So like this this wow. record been around the world a little bit. International. Drop. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. any features on the album? On the project, rather? Uh I could I, oh, the main one I got, I got Max B on the intro. Oh. Yeah. What's your relationship with Max B? Wait, uh, I produce I produce some records for him. Shout out my bro Ty. Oh, Black. you produce records too? Yeah, I'm a producer and an artist. Ooh. A lot of people you know it's crazy. Some people know me as just being an artist. And then some people know me as just being a producer. But I, I feel like I could do both equally well. Well, listen. I'm on that, I'm on that Bo Jackson time. There you go. Deion there you time, go. You know what I mean? Wear as many hats as you can because there's checks behind them all. Yeah. And that's we trying to catch all of them. Heard you. Now, so where are you from uh, originally? I'm originally from Jersey, but I, I grew up a lot in uh, Pennsylvania. We okay. call it the ABE area. It's like three cities, like a little metropolitan area. Where is it's that? Allentown, Bethlehem, Easton. Oh, oh but, um, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. Allentown, the third largest city in the state. You got Philly, Pittsburgh, and then Allentown. Philly gave gave us somebody great in the game. It gave us meat. Pittsburgh gave us Wiz. And now I'm, you know, I'm here from Allentown now. We ain't, ain't nobody came out yet. So. Put that flag right there. That's yours then. Yeah. Got you. All you right. ever come out there? I got you. 
Huh? Have you ever come out there? <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got it out there. Right, look, oh, listen. <laughs> I've been to Allentown a couple times in my you younger are? years. Yeah. Mm, we'll, we'll talk. Yeah. Okay. So now, what are some of the 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 heights you want to hit in your career? What, what what are some of the goals you're trying to to, to hit? I wanna I wanna create something similar to um like what the greats did. Like you see, like Hov, um. Kanye, like all these artists, where they where they come out, but they also bring you people that are even bigger. Like I, I'm a, like I said, I'm a producer and an artist, so I got that certain ear where mm. I can hear other people and I could see something in them that they probably don't see in themselves yet. So I want to present that to the world. Like I got artists from different cities and states that I've been going to over the you know the last couple of years, and we got people on the team. So I want to I want to build like something that. That's a real movement that hasn't been done in a while. Are you putting them in position to win? Yeah, working on that right now. Gotcha. Yeah. But I mean, as an artist, you know, every artist got to be worked differently. Yes, they got a different path. They got different uh, demographics and things like that. So I want to, I want to try to make everybody win around. How do, you, how do you choose? Because you are a producer, what you keep and what you give away. <laughs> That's a tough one. You know. I really don't rap on a lot of my beats as the ones that I make. Like when I on my project, I probably only help produce one or two of the records. Why is that? I don't know. It's always been like that. I just my sound for some reason when I hear beats, I hear other people on them. Mm. Like when I make certain records, like I, I did a couple records for um Benny the Butcher and my guy Fuego Bass and all of them. Mm -hmm. When I made those records, I heard them on the records. So I didn't want to touch them because in my mind, this is for them. Mm. So for some reason, when I make beats, I don't hear myself on them as much. So if you had a choice to be, let's say, Kanye or The Dream, because The Dream produces a lot of stuff in the background and doesn't do too much in the foreground. Mm -hmm. Kanye does a lot of stuff in the foreground, but also produces. That's which, a good question. Which one would you rather be? Probably yeah, cause that's to me he the he the greatest. Wow. So I'm always gonna say yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. I like you know I like his path that he took. Um, he proved a lot to people because people always wanted him to just be a producer like when he first came out, and that's kind of like how it's been with me. When I'm around certain artists, they like nah just just stay with the producer hat today. <laughs> but then I jump on that record, I might smoke them. You know what I mean? So I think that's some of the stuff that Ye went through when he was coming up as an artist. And he proved himself that he could do whatever he want. But I think Ye's um, struggle was because he didn't look the part. I think Kanye's problem was that's they seen too. the kid look like a, a backpack yeah, rapper. And it's like, you not got... They, just off his look, they would already be like, nah, he can't do it. That's because he, he was ahead of his time. Mm. They just didn't know that he was the look yet because look at all the people that came out after him. Yep. That Kanye is the standard of what they wanted to be like. You know, before he came, it wasn't people wearing the pink, the pink polos and the, mm -hmm. the tight jeans on, like everybody had a jersey on and everything. But now after he came out, that's what everybody wanted to be like. They just didn't know that that was what it was. Mm -hmm. you, got, you got a point there. So... um What's what's the uh where do you see yourself in three years? Three years? I always see the biggest thing possible. You know what I mean? I feel like if your if your goals and your dreams don't scare you or other people, then they ain't big enough. That's so I, I feel like the sky the limit. I could be I could be anywhere producing for any type uh A list artist. From the from them all the way down to an artist that nobody know. I want to work with everybody. I, to, with me, it's about the talent and the art that come out of it more than just the name being tied to it. You know. What would what would an older you say to a younger you? Worry about that money first. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right. So besides the music, what else is going on in your lifestyle? Like, is there merch? Is there things that you're selling? Yeah, we, Talk to me. Yeah, we got the merch about to drop. It's probably going to drop like a week before the album come out. We got hoodies, t-shirts. Um, we working on a documentary we're going to release by the end of the year. I've been producing for a bunch of artists. Um, Talk that talk. Who? Drop them. Yeah. Come on, man. We got some records on the uh, 
Benny the Butcher got this BSF album coming out soon. I produce some records for that. Benny yeah. Tough. You know, it's crazy. That's He was, I had stopped for a couple years. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm kind of done with this music. And he didn't even know that, like, he was one of my main inspirations of coming back to do music as an artist. Mm. And then we wound up working with him. And that, so that that was a, uh, that's crazy. It was like, a sign from God. Yeah. yeah. Don't sit out. Uh-huh. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about but that I haven't touched upon yet? Um, Just, you know, I want to let everybody know, any artists out there, y'all want to work with me on the production tip, I always, I sold a lot of beats online. Um, And I and I actually work with the artists producing them. Y'all can hit me up on my Instagram, at Red McFly. Um, be, just, you know, just be on the lookout for that life is crazy too. That's the main, the biggest thing that I want people to know, like, I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this project. Um, you ain't bleed on this shit. Don't say blood. You sweated a little bit. You ain't bleed. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I might have. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I really worked hard on this, and I, and I feel like the world, like when they hear this, they're going to they gonna respect me as an artist as well as a producer. So I know, you know. Well, when October it, 20th. When it drops, I would like to hear it. Right. Make sure I get send me some send me a link a copy or something please. Oh yeah, most definitely. I'm gonna send you the merch too. I I take that. You I, know I, I, I won't see you over here with the hoodie on. Like this crowd send the, her, the hoodie and the t-shirt. Absolutely. Uh huh. Um, any last words before I let you go? Uh, make sure y'all follow me on that Instagram at Red McFly. Subscribe on the YouTube Red McFly. Everything Red McFly. Just just Google that. You are gonna see everything up there. All the stuff we did over the years. Everybody work with. Um, new stuff. I'm always online, active, you know what I mean? So that's that's about it. <laughs> Allentown, respect my man out here, God. Red McFly, and you'll be seeing me soon on his accord. You heard what he said. Yeah, come pull up. Thank you again for coming through, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's Red McFly. It's the sit down. We out. Take flight. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me.